Hello, and welcome to Notebook. In this video, I'll go over how to navigate through your notebooks. Here is a notebook I've created for my to-dos. I have separate pages for my home, personal, and work-related tasks. I've added a tab to each of those pages so that I can quickly get to any of them. Tabs live on the right in the tab strip, and clicking a tab takes me right to its page. Any page can have a tab, and by default, Notebook adds a tab to each new divider page. Control or right-clicking a divider page's tab reveals a menu of the pages and subsections within the divider. Let's say I want to jump to the Multidex by clicking its tab. In this notebook that I've created for school, there are so many tabs that they've started to bunch up at the bottom. When tabs overlap, just place the cursor over the tab strip and scroll using your mouse or trackpad. After flicking the other tabs away, I can now see the Multitex tab to click it. You can turn to the next or previous page in a notebook by using its page curl. So here is the next page, and the next. The Go toolbar item works like your web browser's back and forward buttons so it's easy to backtrack to where you've been. The navigation bar appears at the bottom of every notebook window. It shows the path of the current page within the notebook. Clicking a divider in this path takes you right to that divider page. The contents page is the first page of every notebook and it lists all the divider and note pages in a notebook. You can get to any page in your notebook from the contents page, but it sometimes is not so convenient to have to turn to the contents page only to leave it for the page you really want. That's when the contents card comes into play. You can reveal the contents card up by choosing the contents card command in the view menu. The contents card shows the entire structure of the notebook and clicking a page in the card turns right to it. So let's go back to the page I was on initially. Sometimes you need to work in one page while referring to notes in another page. Even with the contents card, that can still mean a lot of jumping around. A better option is to open the page in its own window. You can do this by choosing the Open in a New Window command from the Page menu. You can think of this as temporarily tearing the page out of the notebook. Now I can keep this page handy here on my screen while I work in the main window. To put the page back into the notebook, just click its close button. Notebook provides a lot of different ways to get around your notebooks, so you'll always know where you are and where you can go. 